Hello, please enjoy this next and hopefully last proof of concept video. I want to try a few glass blowing techniques that I will need in future. By that I mean joining tubes, splitting tubes and making holes. I will also need bending but I can do that with propane already. Well the only problem is that I am left with few pieces of scrap so this will be a very limited experiment. Ok, so let's begin. So first I will process this one piece of tube that is very short for me to do something useful with it. So the idea is that I will melt one end of the tube and make some handle so I can hold it by that. This may take some time but after a while a very nice drop is formed that will fall under its own gravity. Next I will join two tubes so I have a longer piece to work with. Unfortunately I cannot blow into these tubes so the joint looks very bad. However it doesn't really matter because I am going to split these tubes again. Anyways, here's the close-up of this joint. Looks pretty bad, doesn't it? I'm not really that concerned, because this is probably a bad technique and also I don't think that I will be joining these big tubes. Ok, so let's split this sucker. Well, probably a lathe would be useful, but uh, it's all about money. I'm sorry that I'm not showing you the splitting, but uh, well, this setup is pretty bad and there are plans to make it better, but it requires money and the time. And I have one or another, so... Oh shit, not the floor again. Ok, now let's make a hole. So I want to connect an 8mm tube to this 30mm tube. So I will end up with a T-piece. Man, I really enjoy making holes. Now I want to make a flange to this 8mm tube. If I've had a larger tube I would probably blow in and make a bubble. And now weld them together. I should also note that I am doing this actually second time in my life, so it's obviously pretty bad. But obviously I am not looking for quality right now, I am just testing if this is even possible. Now I'm trying to anneal this with propane torch and I'm pretty sure that it will fail. And by failing I mean this. I think if I skip that propane annealing process this would not happen. Well a firm leak of flame should repair this. But back to the joint itself. As you can see it's almost clogged, but the joint is pretty good, I think, with a little bit of practice. So as a conclusion I am pleased with outcome of this test. I will need an annealing oven to make some useful stuff actually, but, but that's a matter of a few high temperature bricks and Arduino and some Nichrome wire. And also I think it will take a while until I produce something useful, actually. But yeah, I think this worked out pretty well.